Hi everyone, welcome to my day. It's been a very early start for me again, about 5.30 a.m. and I got so much work done and then I did my regular school run. Then I came back to the editing room and I've been editing. I've managed to edit and start uploading yesterday's video, so that's underway. Also, I've edited another question of the day video. Now, I put one of those up on the channel yesterday and it was so well received. And all of the questions for this new series are coming from the Geekanoids forum. Now, I only put the forum page up a couple of days back and it's so encouraging because a lot of you are using it already. So, big, big thank you to you for that. I also had a really early delivery today, which I'm going to share with you a bit later on. I haven't un unboxed it yet. I might even do the unboxing with you again because you seem to like seeing me unbox packages. But I also want to show you a little docking station or dock that I've got sitting on the desk here. So this is it. This is the little dock I want to show you. This is a side profile of it. And it's called, I'll show you the packaging over the back here, the Belkin Charge and Sync Dock. And a company called MyTrendyPhone.co.uk sent me this out. So big, big thank you to them. Now it's got an integrated cable. This is 1.2 metres or 4 feet. And that's got a USB connection on the other end. That's going into my Mac Pro over the back there. The side profile on it's really nice. I like the look of it a lot. Very, very cool. And you'll see also that I've got a case on my phone and it will still accommodate a thicker case than I've got on my phone at the moment. So that's very, very cool. And then let's just take the phone off and have a look at the sort of front profile of it. Very, very nice dock. Sort of metal on the outside, soft rubber on the inside. There's the lightning connector. You have to have a large cutout on the bottom of your case for it to work properly because it has to accommodate this little plastic bit on the bottom here. And there's only a tiny bit of movement on that connector, which is a little bit of a shame, but it's still good. And it's got some nice weight to it. Now, I've also got that Henge Gravitas dock, which is really, really heavy. This is nowhere near as heavy, but it stays pretty still on the desk. And it's got a rubber sort of foot to it, so it's not going to slip around too much. And I think it just looks really nice. Very, very nice dock from Belkin there. I am behind here somewhere, really I am, and this feels like a deja vu moment because didn't I sit here yesterday in this very position opening boxes? I've got so many deliveries again today, so I wanted to just share it with you. So this is the first one, it came in a really nice bag. It's just a shame that the bag got a bit grubby in the courier van, but nicely presented nonetheless. Let's have a look inside here. Now it says nudeaudio.com on the top of the bag. Oh yes, this is nice. Let me just get this out. I've got to mind those staples. Don't get me. It's got some just some bits and pieces and paperwork inside. And this is it. Oh yes, this is brand new as well. I've actually reviewed a new audio speaker before and it was very nicely made. And this is their Nude Move L. This is a brand new one. And it's a Bluetooth speaker. <clears throat> it's got uh, eight hours battery life, twin drivers, enhanced by passive radiator for room filling, bass rich sound, and it's Bluetooth as well. It's also got an auxiliary in socket. Very, very nice. So I shall have a look at that over the coming sort of weeks and I'll let you know how it performs. So that's really nice. I like that. Now I'll show you these first because this is something I bought in this box here. And these, is, these products are something that's been sent to me. Now, a company called YCAM, they also do this home monitor range. Now, just to quickly explain, YCAM and the home monitor range are all IP cameras. So they're cameras that connect to your uh, sort of home network and give you some home security. The home monitor range come with free recording up into the cloud. And I think it saves something like seven days of recording in the cloud. So that's really nice. And I've got a couple of boxes here and a couple here. These are both the same. So these are their uh, HD video cameras, indoor HD Wi-Fi video camera. Free cloud recording and alerts. Works on Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, Roku, Windows Phone and more. How cool is that? And it does say seven days online for free. So no subscription fee for this as well. So we've got two of those to be able to set up and it says protect and view your home in under 60 seconds. So that sounds really good. I'll give you a closer look at the boxes in a, in a short while. And then I've also got not one, but two. 
of these as well. So these are, and again, these work with all the platforms, and these are brand new to their range, weatherproof HD Pro Wi-Fi video cameras. Again, with free recording and alerts. And these are for outside, so these can be mounted on an outside wall. So I'm gonna put one of these front and back. So I'll give you a closer look at those boxes in a moment. So let's just open this up. This is something I actually purchased from Amazon and I'll leave a link to this one in the video description. I know what this is. Let's spin this box around. And I bought one of these before, slightly different model. But the reason I bought another one is because that first one was so good. Let's just get the package out and throw the box over there. I just love unpacking boxes. It never gets boring. It's like Christmas every day. I said this yesterday as well, but I'm really going to cut a finger off one day. If you've got any suggestions for a good unboxing knife, something a bit bigger than this, this is so small, any suggestions, preferably Amazon, just because it's easier to order from, then please do let me know. Now, I've shown you my other one of these, but this is a slightly different model, and this is it. This is an aperture light. This is an LED light, and this is the AL528W. Now, the one I've already got is the AL528S, and the S has got a more concentrated light, and this is the W, so this has got a more widely dispersed light. And I'm gonna just open this up and show you it right now. It is really good, very, very good indeed. And the value of these are brilliant. You might think it sounds a lot, they're around about 100 pounds, but for an LED light, that is brilliant. Now it comes in this, let me just show you, nice carry case, and inside this front section, I'm not gonna take all these bits out, but this front section has basically got some spare LED bulbs, so you've got some spare LEDs in the little pack there, You've got like a, a lighting stand, sort of bracket thing. We've got a UK plug and also a power adapter. You'll get a country specific plug if you're in another country and you order one of these. And I will leave a link to these in the video description because I think these are brilliant. And then in this back section here, I just can't believe the value of these. They're so good as well. So very, very good. So in this back section, you've got the light plus a little filter. So it comes with this or orange colored filter, and some instructions. And let's take the light out and I'll show you. I'm not gonna turn it on, not in this video. Uh, let's just undo this. And you can never have enough lighting. And these are so compact, they really are good. And this is it, this is what the light looks like. So this is like a diffuser, like a frosted diffuser. And it should just lift up, oh there we go. And then you've got the LED panel underneath, very cool. And then round the back, this is where these are good, because uh, normal, let me just put that back on, there we go. So normal lights like this, they normally either run on mains power or they run off of battery. Well this one has got two battery compartments up here, so you can use like rechargeable camera batteries. And it's also got an input for the power supply, so you can run it off the mains on off switch and then this rotary dial so you can dim it and it's also got an LED display on the back so it tells you how uh, or sort of what percentage you've got and there's also a battery meter on here I believe if memory serves me right I'm pretty sure there is a battery meter so it shows you the percentage of light you're outputting and also the battery that you've got left if you were using it on battery it's just brilliant now they do this one as I say the wide one W they also do the S which is the more concentrated light. And then they also do a color one as well, where you can actually uh, adjust the color temperature of the light as well. So very, very good and highly recommended. So I wanted to give you a close up look at both of these boxes again. This is the indoor camera. So this is the indoor HD Wi-Fi video camera. And this is a very, very compact unit, as you can see. Super excited to get these set up. And multi-platform support, as I mentioned earlier. So these are going indoors, and then this is a brand new camera to the home monitor range. This is the Weatherproof HD Pro. So this one is gonna go outside, and I've got two of these. 
very very excited to get these set up and they're meant to be really easy to set up so I will share with you my experiences in a future video about how these work. So remember I said to you I was going to get some lockers to organise all of my bits and pieces? Well they finally arrived or at least one of them has and it's so good I've ordered a second one. So now I am absolutely shattered because the new storage locker turned up I had to clear off the old shelves which were one two three four five six shelves worth of, of product and stationery and bits and pieces and camera filters a whole host of different things all mixed up as well not very well organized on the shelves so I cleared all of that off took the shelves outside then put the new storage locker in place I put some little foam sort of feet on the bottom just so it didn't scratch the hard floor and then I had to reload it back up with the stuff and, and reorganize it I threw away loads of stuff as well, just stuff that had either the, the rubber had perished on some bits and just some bits that just didn't need any more. I had some boxes of staples on the shelves and I can't remember the last time I stapled something so I've thrown them away as well. And you know what happened? I'll probably need to staple something tomorrow but anyway they've gone, I haven't used them for years. And having a clear out like that shows you how much stuff you've got lying around that you just don't use. So anyway, back to the locker. That locker was from a company called Steppen Store and I used uh, some of my birthday money to buy that because I just thought it was something really nice to get things organised and when things are organised I'm happy. So I ordered that one and I'm so pleased with it I've rung them up and I've ordered another one. Now instead of the red doors I've gone for grey outside the same but yellow doors on this one and then some extra shelves inside as well. It was uh, three extra shelves and I think they were £7 per shelf. So I thought that wasn't too bad. They actually manufacture them to order. So it's about another seven to ten days wait. But I think it'd be worth the wait because uh, because it's got the extra shelves in. I can put all my camera filters nicely organised on one of the shelves. And all the extra little bits inside I can get those organised well. And I might just buy some plastic trays just so that I can stack things a little bit easier in the other one. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased. Very pleased indeed with it. So the rest of the day, I'm going to be just catching up with emails. I've got one client video to record as well, which is going to take me right up till around about 7 o'clock tonight. So I'm going to get on with that. I'm going to say goodbye for now because I've had an absolutely busy day and I'm absolutely knackered already. But I hope you've all had a fantastic day as well. Thank you very much for watching. Do let me know what you think of this video in the comments section. I really do appreciate the feedback. Do you like it where I'm actually mixing in, unboxing some products within my daily videos as well? I'd be really keen to hear your feedback on that. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.